What are some of the worst, absolute worst things you can do at a skate park? Waxing a ledge of Old Spice. Pedestrians. Pedestrians in the park get out. Being oblivious. Being oblivious. Being oblivious. So, he was retired, right? He's retired. <laughs> I thought he said something else at first, and I was like, you can't use that. He's retired. No. <laughs> We're out here at South Whittier Skate Park, aka Amelia Mayberry. The park is quite funky today. There's going to be a few topics of discussion we're going to discuss in this video about what are some of the worst, absolute worst things you can do at a skate park. Discussing the most disgusting things that you can do at a skate park. Pretty much, but first is going to be like roughly three minutes of me skating and then seven minutes of just talking about stuff. And Don't tell them that. Don't tell them the layout of the video. <laughs> then they're going to skip around. We're going to skate right now and then we're going to go do some no. other stuff later. We're going to skate right now and, could, if, and just skate today because skating is awesome. Enjoy the video. So you discovered something new with Feebles. Yeah, this is a secret. Dan didn't tell me because he didn't want me to know the industry secrets. Say you're coming up to Feeble, tilt your head down like this. It makes your body go on this side so when you pop on, your weight's already there. Here I am popping on top like a, an idiot. I told you to keep your head... Oh my god, rewind. <laughs> well, go back to his old videos and find where I told him to do exactly what he's doing. He's just a bad <laughs> listener, dude. the rail but you have to get on at least at the the middle leg all day there it is backside yeah yeah if you can feel all day back would be the same thing yep that's really it i don't know what else to do here 50 50 back 180 on the rail Front 50, 50, back 180. I don't care. How do you do that? Front side or back side, just 50, 50, and then back 180 out. Ooh. I'll try front. Okay. You got that. Just scoop a 180. Oh, front feeble lock. <laughs> You're still rolling away. This try, do it again. Again? What do you mean, yeah? That was sick, man. <laughs> That's harder than the trick. So. Shifty. Yeah. Same thing? It's just the back 180. You're overthinking it. You can do this every try. Ooh. Oh, that was it. That was perfect. <laughs> What'd they say? I said that once you and me, huh? <laughs> so we just finished up uh, skating. We're going to talk about the top 10 most worst, ridiculous, stupid things you can do at a skate park. Do you want to we just start at number one? Yeah. Number one, bringing a speaker in and just playing your music loud. Fair enough, you bring it in and you can play your music in a, like, so it's like quietly there, but you don't think at all. Nope, nope, don't Not play your music. Don't play your music. Okay, like, don't I, come I, to the park and play your music. The argument is always like, oh, like I, I love skating with music. You know who else loves skating with music? Who? Everyone. But you don't put it in other people's face. Like no one wants to listen to your music. And yeah. then the other option is, you know, I don't know if you're gonna put this on the list as the number, another number or not, but headphones, like that's also uh -huh. like a dick move. That's like, like a, yeah, yeah, so. I understand you love music, but like, come on, man. Yeah. Number two, wearing headphones, because it's just a recipe for disaster. You can't hear, you can't, it throws off your like, and everyone else is like, oh, that guy has headphones on, he's not gonna see me or hear me roll past. So yeah, it's like, it gives me anxiety to skate in a park when everyone's wearing headphones. Yeah. What's the third thing? We seen this kid earlier waxing a ledge of Old Spice. It was Old Spice. Wasn't it was it? definitely Old Spice, and it was definitely the Nautica Sage flavor. Uh, <laughs> flavor. <laughs> flavor. It's, it's, and I think you're gonna be able to, you're gonna be able to uh, whittle that down to 
people not taking other people into consideration to make things rideable the way they want to ride. So in other words, if there's someone skating a ledge and they are yep. like battling a trick and then you walk up and just start waxing the ledge because you want to do a trick too, like yeah. fuck you, dude. Like, yeah, let the, like at least ask the kid like, hey man, do you mind if I wax this because I want to try yeah. something too? I don't like how much shorter I look like than you. Yeah, what do you want me to do? Get lower. Get <laughs> me to do this? Yes, dude. Now. <laughs> Yeah, I have more authority now. You can go, go back up there, going back up there. But yeah, anything along those lines. But yeah, this kid was rubbing deodorant on it, which is just going to make it oily. It's not going to make yeah, it grind it's, any better. It's yeah. So now you can't skate that ledge today. You can't skate that ledge. We're on number four now. Okay. We just covered three. Number four is random foot traffic coming through the park. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Pedestrians. Pedestrians in the park get out. Yeah. Walk around the park, get out. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Like, why? Don't, yeah, you, you don't need to like go through it, or like people who are like almost sightseeing in the skate park. Like, uh -huh. I wonder what it's like in here. Yeah, it's the exact same as it looks. Just get out <laughs> of the way. Yeah, it's because there's an ecosystem in place in the skate park. Everybody, well, you would want to hope that everybody knows the flow of how a park works, and then when civilians come in, <laughs> yeah, come into the park and they don't know what's good. Like they just kind of walk around, Buggles. sit on ledges and stuff. You know, they sit on the old ledge. Yeah, oh, I love it, it when sucks. they sit on the ledge, which perfectly leads into the next one, which is using the skateboard obstacles as places to rest. Number five. Like, I don't care if no one skates that quarter pipe. I don't care if no one skates that curved ledge yeah. or it's really like, don't it's sit a there. skate park, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I hate asking people to move. Yeah, it's really uncomfortable to be like, excuse me, can you move off this ledge? We're trying to skate right now. You know, number six. I feel like number six is like, when someone's in on the session in the park, but they are completely oblivious. You know when you're trying to skate and someone's like tailing behind you and you can hear their fucking bearings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're trying to do it for a trick, but you can hear them and it's just like... They just, they, they're just completely ignoring Yeah, they're just this. ignoring they're just your space, so... <laughs> he was flirting uh, with these ladies right and, and they all want them. Yeah, they do, they do. Being oblivious. Being oblivious. Being obviously. oblivious. Skateboarding and being oblivious. Not like not knowing how to like yeah. operate around other skateboarders. Which is really weird because you feel like if you skate, you know the flow. Number eight right now. Number seven. <laughs> Number seven? You're so bad at this. Yeah, we're at seven now. It's hard to keep us both in frame. We should have said We don't need down. to be both in frame. You're the star. I, I'm, I'm the star today. I'll just be closer. Number you. eight. What's number eight? Seven. Number seven, guys. Number seven is... Can you tell you what number seven yeah, is? Yeah, tell us. Okay, number seven is... I personally think that there should be an adult swim-esque rule for skate parks. Like, when you go swimming for the first time, if you can't swim a lap and not drown, yeah. you're not allowed to play in the deep yeah. end with the other kids. And I think a skate park, they not that they would ever do this because it would mean that they need to be supervised, but like, don't bring your kid to the skate park if you can't ride a skateboard. Like, it, skate parks are yeah. not there to learn how to yeah. ride a skateboard. They're there to learn how to do tricks or have fun. And if you're not at the level of like, advancing your skating you're just figuring out skating come skate early parks. in the morning or no don't even come back because that's when old people want to come skate. <laughs> like, <laughs> we, hey, like, i like <laughs> coming early in the morning learn how to skate in a parking lot in a driveway in your backyard on a piece of wood just don't come to the skate park and occupy space when people are trying to like fully use it like that's like kids playing a pickup game mm -hmm. and then like i walk over and i'm trying to learn how to play underhand in the middle of their game you yeah know what I mean? like yeah so yeah, my at my old local in Australia, Carnes Hill, there was like s rules, and it was like if you're a beginner, come early in the morning to avoid all the other people that want to. Oh, that's kind of cool. That, that was yeah, they sign. put it there, so the yeah. council put it there as like a little sign. We're in number eight now, right? Yeah. Um, Random things in the park: RC cars, soccer balls, footballs, handball, tennis balls. Anything that's not something you would ride in a skate park. Yeah. An RC car does not qualify. Yeah, I can't. Uh, when people bring an RC car in, it makes me so enraged on the inside well, you can't tell because i'm calm on the outside what, what a perfect day to point that out because today we had that guy ride through on that what bicycle. kind of it's like a laying down bike it's got three wheels yeah. someone some, comment below what that bike is called yes and of course had an american flag like they all do <laughs> uh, he so was retired right he's retired there was that i thought he said something else at first and i was like you can't use that he's retired <laughs> I, thought I, well, I know you didn't say it now, but I was like, Sean, what the uh, fuck? He was retired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there was that. There was kids playing football with his dad. Uh -huh. Like, he was throwing a football at yeah. his kid as he skated, which was really annoying. Yeah. And then before you got here, there was a guy with a drone flying around everywhere. Oh, time. my. It, <laughs> yeah, it, it was like, I don't, I don't know what the deal was, but he was flying, and I don't know if he was, like, hoping that I would be like, hey, let me get the footage or something yeah, like that. But yeah. it, it was really annoying. And then, uh, yeah, RC cars is kind RC of RC cars. Kind of We're on number nine now. Number nine. Number nine. 
<laughs> oh, leaving oh, trash. Trash. Leaving trash Snacks. at the park. If you're like eating and stuff and you just kind of put your trash down where your stuff is, fine. But once you finish your session, pick it up, throw it in the bin, throw it in the rubbish bin. And That's what makes parks look bad. Like those, those are empty bottle of Hennessy. I know. That's probably see from people last night, you know, just drinking and smoking at the park. But it's like, try to keep your park clean because these things are a privilege. Absolutely. Then they'll shut the park down. Yep. And then everything that you just learned about that with the trash in the skate park, mm -hmm. apply that to everywhere all the yeah. time. Don't leave your fucking trash anywhere. Don't leave your rubbish anywhere. It goes into the ocean and then poor animals. You ever seen those turtles and they're born and they get their head stuck in a little plastic six pack thing. And then... Yeah, that's the only positive thing that comes out of littering. Everything else is bad. <laughs> Number 10 of the absolute worst things you can do at a skate park is what? There should at no point in time, I don't care who your squad is or how many of them you, there are, trains. When people do trains at skate parks, it makes me want to die because yeah. you literally occupy the entire park. Yeah. And then it's just like, I feel like if you have the park to yourself, by all means. Yeah. But fuck, I feel like dude. doing trains is like a, a one and done thing. You're having fun with your friends, everyone does one train. Call it a day. Choo choo. Fuck yeah. Off. You know, the park I grew up skating was a BMX park. I thought so... you were going to say it was a train station. <laughs> so, all these BMX riders would just do trains around the park and you'd have to wait for them. And you would be waiting and waiting and waiting and they'll just keep going around and around. So, yeah, it's, it's like running trains on parks. Yeah, as don't weird run as that trains on, on parks. Running trains on parks. <laughs> and he was retired. He was retired and he came through running train on this poor skate park here in Whittier. <laughs> <laughs> 